Hi, Matthew Sinclair. I want to talk quickly about the Amazon iRobot decision that came through this morning from the Competition and Markets Authority. A few initial thoughts on why it landed the way it did, why it differed to other decisions recently involving major tech firms, and what that might tell us for future mergers uh, in the technology sector. In short, it's approved, no phase two investigation, uh, so a very different outcome, importantly, to some earlier decisions. So just a quick reminder, um, we've had a couple, a couple of these recently. First, Facebook, now Meta, acquiring uh, Giphy, the, uh, the GIF platform where the CMA was concerned about impacts on the display ads market and on the social media market. And then Microsoft acquiring Activision Blizzard, uh, where they were concerned about impacts in the nascent cloud gaming sector. So I guess that begs an obvious question. Why a different outcome for Amazon iRobot? I think these paragraphs uh, in, the, in, in the, the summary findings get to the core of why this decision was different. The point on the left is essentially that the robot vacuum cleaner market is immediately competitive with multiple direct peers uh, to iRobots. Uh, it, it doesn't, it, you know, they just looked at this market and didn't see a market position that they were uncomfortable with Amazon owning. And their point on the right is really they don't think that that's going to change. They don't think robot vacuum cleaners as a market are particularly going to grow. So it's not going to become strategically vital. And it, there's not there going to be a case for you know, Amazon to take other actions that might secure that strategically vital market. They think this is a technology product lots of people can, can produce uh, and, and, and are producing now. So stepping back quickly, what does that mean? Well, I guess firstly, it means this this case isn't picking the lock on how major tech firms make the case for acquisitions in nascent markets. This got approved because the CMA doesn't see it as a nascent market. And that means you know, directly, I think it's got pretty limited relevance to people thinking about what next for acquisitions in this sector uh, after, whether that's on the kind of policymaker side, thinking about, you know, do we want CMA to be blocking this, these kinds of mer mergers? Or on the firm side, think about how do we articulate the case? It does show, on the other hand, that big tech can still make acquisitions in more established sectors. And their options going forward are either going to be to think about how to make the case for those mergers in newer, in newer businesses, you know, maybe building from the more positive European Commission reaction to Microsoft and Activision Blizzard, or thinking about the kind of analysis that might be necessary to, to make the case in these markets where you are, where the, the regulator has to do, yeah, particularly the UK regulator, has shown a willingness to speculate. Uh, yeah, how do you build a persuasive analysis on speculative market impacts? Or they're going to have to focus on these more established sectors, look out for where there are opportunities. Um, because the CMA is more clearly more comfortable with that. I guess just one final point. In some ways, of course, this is a CMA bet against the future relevance of robot vacuum cleaners or whatever else comes out of iRobot. You know, we'll see. Um, uh, uh, but I think that it is interesting that there's, that, that what what it, in some ways underpins this is a view that it's okay to buy I ro buy iRobot because robot vacuum cleaners, at least, are not, uh, are, you know, the CMA does not believe are the future. You know, and I think that's that's interest, That's an interesting kind of um, has put ingredient in how you can overall think about how market, how, how where robotics might be going in light of developments in AI, um, in light of, you know, the investments that a pretty broad range of firms have made over a number of years. So I think Really interesting uh, outcome. For sure, you know, people at Amazon and iRobot are super happy with 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 how with how this has has ended up, and you know, they get to uh, you know forge an exciting business together. I think everyone else is going to have to continue to think about how we we think about mergers uh, in these dynamic, changing markets over time. Hope you found that interesting. Any thoughts, comments? Please do drop them below. Uh, and yeah, please like and subscribe and I look forward to speaking to you next time.